Hello everybody, my name is Shoelaced and welcome to another edition of Modding Skyrim. Today it's just going to be a quick little tutorial covering on how to install Tamriel online. If this tutorial is found a little too slow for you, then please check out my shoelace shortcut that will be linked below and I should annotate something here. Now let's continue on to the tutorial. First thing that we're going to want to do, as per usual, is we're going to want to open up the link in the description. So go ahead and do that and then you should come up to this page here. Now if we read, we get SKSC, Script Dragon, Sky UI, and C++ 2013. All of those are required for this mod, so keep that in mind. But let's just quickly download the clients and the server. Just so that you are aware, there is no reason to install Script Dragon as of now because it has been included in the latest update of the mod. So just continue installing, and then once that is finished, we're going to drag those both onto the desktop. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm just going to quickly drag these onto the desktop here. Just like that, except without fences, so now I can see them. Okay. So what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to extract both the files so that we can put them into the Skyrim directory. So let's just open that up now. Where we're going to want to find it is by default in C drive, program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, common Skyrim. Okay, so just open that up at your own pace. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to extract both the files, both Tamriel Online server and the client. Keep in mind that you don't actually need the server if you're just planning on joining a friend server. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to copy the contents of both of these files and paste them directly into the Skyrim directory. When it comes to replacing the data folder that you get from the Tamriel Online client, you have a, com a couple of options. You can either paste it directly in there and irreversibly install it, which is what I did, or if you really want to make sure that you can uninstall this whenever you can, you can archive the data folder and install it just like a mod through any mod manager, just kind of like how you did in the SKSE video. Now what we're going to want to do is open up the Tamriel Online Any. In this, we're going to place whatever IP address we're trying to connect to. So check with your host's IP address and then punch that in. Or if you're hosting, just leave it as is because it'll just connect you to yourself. So I, I wouldn't put too much pressure onto it. Save it, close it, and then that should be fine. You can launch up the Tamriel Online server now, but I do list that there are a couple of options. There is a server settings Any. Uh, all the options in there are pretty self-explanatory and few, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Now, just open up the server. As you can see, it lists off a couple of details. If you're a client, you don't obviously need to run the server because you didn't install it. But assuming that you're the host, what you're going to do is you're going to leave the server running as you play Skyrim, obviously, because you need something to connect to. And then all you're going to have to do is make sure that all your friends have any matching settings and then just launch Skyrim and press the home button. Now I can't guarantee this is works. Um, I've tried this multiple ways, mixed results, so take it as is, that's all I can say. However, regardless of all of the issues that I've had with this mod, I do truly love the uh, idea and the belief that you could actually play online with your friends in a cooperative experience. The list goes on of all the potential that this mod has, from being able to do uh, cooperative puzzles in dungeons like uh, Portal 2 style puzzles with uh, mixed results and larger and badder enemies that you would have to use teamwork to defeat. All such things all possible now because of this mod so I would like to truly appreciate it. But uh, anyways that's all I am here to say guys. I hope that you've all enjoyed this slightly not really much longer tutorial and of course have an excellent day. Thank you.